So in this study, we've, we've been investigating the causes of aging and we've, we've discovered a, a new cause, uh, one which involves a, a breakdown in a, a critical communication process that occurs within our cells. And really this ultimately leads to problems with uh, energy production inside our cells. And I guess the exciting part of the research is that we showed that um, just one week of treatment was able to reverse, reverse this uh, breakdown in communication. Now, within one week, the breakdown uh, uh, was reversed. What happened then? How did the, the, the muscles and the cells start interacting? Yes, yeah, so the, um, I mean, more specifically, what, what we're looking at here is communication within the cells. And so I guess it's like a relationship or a marriage. Different parts of the cells need to, to keep communicating for things to run smoothly. And when that breaks down, you start to see problems. And, and we were able to uh, specifically map the pathway that was responsible for these problems. Um, and if we gave a compound which uh, basically restored that, that communication, we found that many of the signs of aging in the muscle of these older mice uh, basically disappeared. They went back to being very similar to what the six month old animals in the study look like. But this is remarkable. I, I guess the next question is then how long did that effect last? Uh, well, we, we gave a very short uh, uh, intervention here of just, just seven days. In, in two-year-old mice, we gave them uh, this compound for seven days, uh, and then we uh, assessed whether these a number of different signs of, of aging in, in their muscles ha had been improved at all. And as I said, they went back to being like a six-month-old, which is a bit like a 60-year-old human being taken back to being like a 20-year-old. Um, and, and that's where we're at at the moment. We, we've seen this fairly remarkable and rapid reversal of these signs of ageing. And obviously the studies we want to take forward is looking at, at, at longer term uh, interventions so, in animals. Yeah, so that's sustainability. I guess, so what I'm understanding is as long as you can keep us, uh, as long as we could keep ourselves communicating, then the ageing process really could stop. Yeah, so I mean, what we found is that a key molecule in the body that is at the top of this communication cascade, it goes down with aging. And what we want to do is try and raise the levels back to that in a young animal. We can do that by restricting the number of calories and exercising. But what we, we did was found a naturally occurring compound that boosts the levels of this important molecule. And that in itself was able to uh, restore this communication and, and as I said, make the a number of these signs of aging go away, but in its current form, the, the, the compound that we gave is extremely expensive and for a, a normal human to have the same dose as we gave the animals would be about $40,000 a day. So we've got a, <laughs> a long way to go before we can uh, start, start yes. using this compound, obviously. And also, I'm, 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 I'd imagine you'd have to study the long-term effects of, of, of giving humans, mice or whatever, that kind of compound. Yeah, so, so as I said, it's a seven-day study so far. We want to do further studies looking at longer term uh, administration to see if there's any safety concerns. We're hoping to start some trials in humans next year uh, with this compound. And really, I guess the goal of this, this research is, is, as you mentioned earlier on, trying to prevent age-related diseases because there's a number of diseases like type 2 diabetes and cancer that we know they creep up and, and they become more prevalent as we, we get older and we really want to try and prevent or, or delay the onset of those diseases. And I'd imagine critically too, it would, uh, if, if it was sustainable, it would make us fitter for longer, able to exercise for longer, and, and, and that would feed into that sort of keeping a lot of those ageing diseases at bay. Yeah, so, that, so that actually the, the area that we focused on in this study was muscle, and we found that the energy production in the muscle went down, and we know that a lot of older people tend to have problems with you know, energy, they seem to have low energy, so we think that this this could uh, help to, to boost those energy levels, to help people exercise and maintain a healthy lifestyle for longer. Okay, this is a critical question, Nigel. Will it happen in my lifetime? Uh, <laughs> as I say, we're, it's early days and it's really very, very exciting what we found. Uh, we do have to do further tests uh, in mice. We're going to move into trying to do some clinical trials in humans. So I'd, I'd say that a, that a pill or, or a drug that, that stimulates this pathway is a, is a number of years away, but um, we're hopeful that we can try and rapidly move it forward.